Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back on the channel. Uh, tonight's video is going to be very interesting about the bishop's opening because lately I started to play lots of bullet and look what's ha what's happening all the time. I won like zillions of games thanks to the bishop's opening. Uh, currently you can see this green background. I'm uh, filming and recording uh, Butcher the Scandinavian so you're going to be able to get it very soon. But let me just show you uh, some tricks from my uh, chessable course butcher with the bishop's opening. So look at this. When I go with bishop c4, everybody goes knight c6. Somebody asked me today, hey Maya, what if bishop c5? Nothing. You just go knight c3, knight c6, and you go for copycat variation queen g4. They go knight c6, you go knight c3, bishop c5, and you once again go for the copycat variation with the queen g4. I constantly keep talking to my students and ask them, so what do they play here the most? Everybody gave me an answer. Well, everybody goes with queen f6. Are you serious? That's what we all want to see here and how we actually want to win our games. But instead of this, before I show you two phenomenal miniatures, and by the way, both of them happened within like two hours, uh, if they play king f8 to defend on g7, watch out. They now threaten d5 to attack the queen by the bishop here and to win the piece. You gotta go with the queen f3, threatening some sort of patzer's mating attack on the f7 or a scholar's mate. They go knight f6, you go knight g on e2, so they can play knight d4 and harass the queen. They go with d6. You play d3, bishop g4, queen g3, of course. And when they play queen d7, a very lovely continuation with h3, bishop e6, and bishop g5. After I do it, I'm threatening long castle and f4. If they go g6, watch out. Once again, they just defended on g7. And once again, they threaten by the bishop on c8 to take the queen and to threaten the bishop on c4. You go queen f3, once again, we're cheap. We want to give them scholars mate here on f7. They go with knight f6. Couple of guys tried queen f6 like, hey, I want to trade the queens off. I want to get an easier game against you, Patzer. But then you just go knight e5. You threaten the queen and the c7. They take, you take. You still threaten c7. And then you just say c3. After d6, a4, you want to go b4 and a5. Chase away the bishop. They can't escape. And they can't, you know, like simply go with anything else there because you're going to go after the c7 square and simply they don't have a way to defend everything. Worst case scenario, we're going to win the bishop here and we're going to be winning. After knight f6, point and comparison and an improvement over the pattern's opening is that the bishop is on c5. It's not on g7 where it defends the dark squares around the king and just controls better knight on f6. You go knight g on e2 to stop knight d4. They go d6, d3, bishop g4, queen g3. They go h6 to stop bishop g5. And look, yes, they did stop bishop g5, but then I go bishop d2. I go queen h4 threatening the knight, kicking the bishop away and kicking this knight away and jumping with the knight here. You can't play castle. You can't play uh, short castle as well. I'm threatening knight f6. If you take, I'm gonna be having bishop here and much better game. S abs g5 is impossible due to bishop g5. Absolutely fantastic game for white. And finally, lots of guys ask me, Maya, could you please show us what to do against knight d4? Because we constantly keep get getting this move on lead chess. They just go for some sort of counter attack against the copycat. I checked. And on Lee Chess, it's, believe it or not, third most common thing after Queen G4. You just take, you threaten mate on F7 and to take the rook. They gotta go with Queen F6. You just take and you just say, aha, you wanna take my pawn on C2. Well, I'm not that stupid. So you just go Bishop D3, defend on C2. They go Rook G8 and you go G3. Then you gotta move your knight back to D1, kick the knight away from the center with C3 and go to the hell body. And finally, if they go with queen f6, that happens literally all the time. So look at this, knight d5, queen f2, king d1. Don't worry, I know it looks kind of crazy, like, hey, Maya, what are you showing to us? Look at our king, are they going to meet you? I put the green circle around the king because you know what? There is no mate. 
there is no mate and don't worry about that so here they can play queen f1 of course you take and what are we threatening we're threatening to take on g7 we're threatening to take on c7 how are they going to play to defend both i'm asking you so here they just have to go with the king f8 um, there are also a couple of guys who ask me could you please show us what to do on d6 it's a very common reaction on leech as i said why would it be common because there is a very hidden trick by black and i wasn't aware of that when you take on g7 i just said you take on g7 and you're winning because you're threatening to take the rook you're threatening to take on c7 you want to go knight h3 to harass the queen but then they go with this stupid knight c on e7 move and now you just say okay what's gonna happen if i just take then they go with the bishop g4 and all of a sudden you're just falling apart watch out not to blunder this one and instead of queen h8 just go with the knight f3 knight f3 secures your king uh secures your king prevents bishop g4 gives your rook f1 and by the way you're threatening to win the queen in one move when they play bishop h3 literally fantastic uh like defensive tricky resource by black because if you take they just take and when you say okay but what if this boom checkmate watch out so here you just go with the 91 and with the simple step back move you just defend on g2 you just avoid all kinds of tactics you want to take on h3 on top of all that you want to play rook f1 and take on h8 they're lost when they take on d5 you play rook f1 and they're completely lost and now we're coming to the point that happened to me uh twice within last two hours in those bullet and one blitz game and few days ago i played one more game exactly the same fashion everybody when they play queen f6 we go with that fantastic 95 move they all think like hey you're a complete pets or you completely forgot about the pawn on f2 you play king d1 i also like the psychological approach because they think like huh now we tricked the guy so he's about to lose and now they go with a king f8 you go knight h3 i put these green, green uh, sorry red arrows on the queen because queen literally has nowhere to go we're gonna even include these ones and queen only move is queen d4 now you go with d3 and you want to trap the queen with c3 so why why am i uh, bringing up this one because they can't stop c3 losing the queen that's a very funny way to trap the queen and they all go with bishop e7 they all go with bishop f7 you go with the rook f1 a very lovely move in cooperation with the bishop on c4 to go after the pawn on f7 they just say okay but i'm gonna cover myself and this happened in three games of mine within a day i took on f6 they all take so get ready for something really beautiful i promise you you're gonna be very happy with this one queen h5 you threaten uh, to take actually to checkmate them in one move on f7 and they all go with g6 you give check i remember when i analyzed this uh, i was very happy because i wasn't sure that it was fully sound during the game i just said let me just go with it probably uh, it could work but i'm not 100 sure i went for queen g7 what a spectacular queen sacrifice he captured i came up with this one and played bishop h6 i checked on, with the engine he can't stop rook f8 either double check and mate or rook f8 if he plays for example d5 to counter mate us we just go with a rook f8 checkmate can you believe that he doesn't stop rook f8 he does he can't stop me of course he can play queen g1 like the engine and then make something else and then you made them and finally i played two more games uh, when queen h6 they go king uh, king e7 you sack and when they take by king boom Da -da -da -da. checkmate hopefully you enjoyed in this copycat tricks and the uh, next video is going to be about one of the most important main lines in the bishop's opening hopefully enjoy this one thanks and uh, keep watching my shorts i don't see many of your views for my shorts thanks